Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to color grade in Photoshop really, really quickly and make all your images look really consistent. We're going to do this by creating a color lookup table, also known as a LUT. So let's get into it. Cool. So we're here in Photoshop now. So the important thing is to make sure that your background image is what we're going to work on. If it's not currently set to the background layer, you can go to layer, new, background from layer. It's really important that this background layer is actually the background. Cool. So now what we're going to do is put adjustment layers on top. This is where we can really start to customize it to look exactly as we want to. So this is when you can start to get a style involved. So I'm going to go through now and put on some adjustment layers. I'm going to do some selective color. Just move these around, find where I like. Within these sliders, I always recommend going from one side to the other so you can really see the difference it makes. And then slowly, whilst looking at the image, not the slider, pick where you think looks best with your eye. We're basically going to layer up these adjustment layers now. So I'm going to do a do a black and white layer, get some darkness into this, and you can change these to the different layer types as well. So I'm going to go luminosity on this, and then bring that opacity right down, just to make it a little bit darker. Add some black and white. Bring the saturation down. The curves, add a bit of brightness to my image. But I only want it in the highlights, so I'm going to double click on the layer, come to the Blend If tab, and at the bottom, we're going to move this to take it away from the darks. Hold Option to just split those, just to make it a smoother gradient. I might change that to soft light. A solid color. Make it a bit peachy. Go back to the screen. And you can build up as many of these as you want to. Let's do some curves. Well, so now if we look at where we've gone to start it at and where we've finished, We've now got all these different adjustment layers over the top. So what we can do is if we go to File, Export, Color Lookup Tables, we can then create a name for this. I suggest just leaving it as Cube32, and then we can title it what we want to. So if we call this Tutorial, OK, and then we can choose where to save it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Name this tutorial dot LUT. Save that. So now what we can do, we make all of these, I'll put them into a folder and just turn that off. So now we can make all those adjustments with just a couple of clicks. Go to adjustment layer and then come to color lookup. You've got a selection of lookup tables here that are preloaded into Photoshop already. But if you go to load 3D LUT at the top, Go to Desktop, Tutorial, Open, and then straight away we've got the exact same as we had before, but just in one click. So now if I bring a different image into Photoshop, instead of having to go through all those layers that we went through before, I can just go, I can just go to my adjustment layers, go to Color Lookup, and like we did before, Load, Tutorial, Open. We've got the exact same color palette. As the other image. This is a really great way to get some consistency across your photos and you can make as many LUTs as you want. And what's also great is you can start to use these LUTs in Premiere Pro if you want to start doing video work. If you'd like to see exactly how to do that, please subscribe because I'll be releasing that next week. Thanks so much for watching and remember, always be creating. See ya!